Formed in 1879 by Reverend William Pitt, Swindon Town's golden era was the late 1960s when left winger Don Rogers reigned supreme. He scored 90 goals in three seasons and was the architect of the club's finest hour, when as a third division side, they beat Arsenal 3-1 in the League Cup final at Wembley, with Rodgers scoring twice in extra time. As a result, Swindon were invited to appear in the Anglo-Italian League Cup, which they won by beating Roma by four goals to nil at the county ground. The visitors had a certain Fabio Capello in their lineup. Ten days after winning promotion to the top flight for the first time in their history, in the 1990 Division II playoff final against Sunderland, Swindon's celebrations were brought to an abrupt halt when the club was charged with 35 counts of making illegal payments to players and were demoted. They did finally reach the top flight three years later under Glenn Hoddle, but they lasted just a single season and conceded over 100 goals. And Swindon featured in the early work of film director John Borman, who went on to make Julian Banjo's classic Deliverance. His 1963 documentary Six Days to Saturday featured a week in the life of the club's players and manager. Swindon could do with a few of their famous old names in this difficult season. In among a clutch of red shirts, Craig Dawson was still able to clip in the goal, which Rochdale thought would be enough. Just nine minutes remained. But Danny Wilson's convinced his side will soon be climbing the table, even without Charlie Austin up front. On his debut deep into stoppage time, new signing Elliot Benyam fueled the boss's optimism. Not the cleanest connection, but the former Torquay striker definitely knows where the net is. Even so, Rochdale's unbeaten run is now eight games. Without a win in six games, Swindon are fighting relegation, but a win over in-form Rochdale was always going to be a tough ask. The visitors pressed forward from the start, Joe Thompson finding Jason Kennedy down the right, his cross headed just over by Will Atkinson. Rochdale came close again when Thompson found Gary Jones on the edge of the box, but his shot was deflected just wide. Swindon did plenty of attacking of their own, Paul Caddis cross, or maybe it was a shot, needed a touch from the keeper to put it against the bar. Owen Fon Williams was called into action again when Matt Ritchie ran into the box, his shot saved by the keeper and his rebound saved off the line by Scott Wiseman. The final ten minutes of the game saw the best of the action. A Rochdale free kick was flicked on by Liam Dickinson for Dawson to put away. Nine minutes left and the defender in his second spell at Rochdale put his side one up. Swindon found the equaliser in the dying seconds. Ritchie with the cross for David Prutton, who spectacularly sent the ball in for Elliot Bennion to head into the Rochdale goal on his debut. Rochdale had never beaten Swindon. Indeed, they'd lost all six of their previous matches away to the Robins, who claimed a 1-0 win the last time these sides met here back in 2006. Swindon found themselves down in the relegation zone, the relegation zone after going six games without a win. Charlie Austin's departure certainly hasn't helped their cause. Jonathan Douglas wasted their first opportunity of the match. Thanks to a late equaliser at Tranmere last time out, Rochdale extended their unbeaten run to seven matches and the visitors soon started to dominate. Will Atkinson squandered a glorious chance after some good work from Jason Kennedy. Keith Hill's men came close to scoring the opening goal again shortly afterwards when Joe Thompson sent the ball flashing across the face of goal. Swindon had failed to find the net in their last three home games, but Paul Caddis, who'd scored at Bournemouth in midweek, so nearly put the hosts in front just before half-time. The strong wind, which had marred the first half, continued to cause problems after the break. Both teams still had their moments, though. The visitors somehow survived here when Matt Ritchie threatened to give Danny Wilson's battling side the lead. 
however it was Rochdale who went ahead nine minutes from time among a clutch of red shirts Craig Dawson emerged to grab his first league goal since September but it was far from over the Robins rescued a point courtesy of a 92nd minute equaliser claimed by their new signing Elliot Benyon who scored on his debut following his recent move from Torquay United Thanks to the strikers' 15th League and Cup goal this season, Swindon climbed back out of the bottom four.